American age, which uh -huh. is so much better. <laughs> I am 37 years old. That's unbelievable. <laughs> this is Sophia's travel pouch, right? Yes. So um, when I travel, I carry a lot, uh, a lot of the sample packs that I receive. Like when I shop, you know, I get these samples. I throw it in my travel pouch ah. so that there's something for whenever. So the first one I'm going to talk about is this Shumera. I have mm -hmm. two of them. Um, oil cleanser. Oh, I really like them. Yeah, so I actually do use them. Um, I have a big bottle at home. Mm -hmm. I buy it every time I go uh, duty free, actually. Yeah, because they're quite pricey. If you get yeah, them yeah, but, but it's like a huge bottle. Yeah. So it lasts quite a while for me, mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. it's worth it for me because I use it every single day. Wow. Because I'm always wearing sunscreen, mm -hmm. and so it's not just to take makeup off, mm -hmm. it's to take the sunscreen off. Mm. It smells really good. I know some people don't like fragrance, but um, for me, the fragrance is actually part of the beauty, so I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, what else do I have? So then I use a moisturizer. We don't have, to, I mean, a, a cleansing foam. We, it doesn't have to be this one, but this is one I just happen to have. Ooh, yeah, it can be any cleansing foam. Mm -hmm. I generally use milk cleansing foam mm -hmm. uh, because. I have dry skin. Mm -hmm. So to be honest with you, I have it because I bought the cream mm -hmm. and you know, they send you samples or they yeah. give you samples. So that's why I have this. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, it looks like I'm using a lot of expensive stuff, but to be honest with you, I, I actually don't. So when mm. it comes to cleansing, um, it doesn't matter what you use. Okay. I, I know people are gonna hate me saying <laughs> that, but if I had little money to use, I would spend um, less money on all my cleansing products mm -hmm. and more money on the res restoration products, on oh. the moisturizing products. So those are my cleansing products. Mm -hmm. um, so then I go into exfoliation. Um, so mm. this product you guys will like because it's um, like 3,000 won. Wow. Like three bucks. Wow. I bought it at Daiso. Wow. It's called what? Control Cream. Um, and actually, I kind of think they mislabeled it because I, I don't know why they called it this, but it's because there's a history to it. This has been around since the 90s. <gasps> um, this is wow. by a company called Chamjun. Oh, yeah, I've heard of this. This is Chamjun's really famous control cream. Oh. Now they sell it in this small pack at Taiso. It's like a travel size one for right. $3. Wow. Yeah, it's like this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's just a cream. It's a facial cream? It's a massage cream. Oh, so, so I'll you tell you wash how it works. It okay, okay. Yeah. You put it on like mm -hmm, that, mm -hmm. just like you're doing so, and then you leave it. And then if you leave it, so I'll leave it on for like a minute, mm -hmm. we can look at it later, it becomes clearer. So actually, if you're really sensitive, I actually tell, I would tell you to avoid it. It is cheaper, mm -hmm. um, but if you're like really sensitive to certain ingredients and parabens mm -hmm. or whatever, they have like all the bad stuff in it. Oh, so yeah. they put a lot of yeah. stuff in it. Yeah, it's like a lot of mineral stuff mm -hmm. in it. So like if you're really sensitive, don't use it. Mm -hmm. But I wash it off anyway, so for me, like I'm not... I'm not too sensitive about stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So how it works is, so like it's been about a minute. You see how now it's like clear? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now that it's clear, once it's clear, you start rubbing it. Mm -hmm. What happens is like all the dead skin cells come up. Oh. Yeah, and so like you put it on your blackheads and then it starts like you start getting like the aigengi. Wiped it off. Uh -huh. So we just wiped it off. Um, it feels and the, so soft. And it's really soft. And it's like chuk Yeah. It's not drying. <gasps> no, it's not drying, which is why I like it. Oh. Because it's a cream. <gasps> That's awesome. So it kind of nourishes your face while you're exactly. exfoliating. Cool time, you know, cool yes. time. Yes. Then this next part. So now that you've done the entire cleansing part and then the so removal of the makeup and then all the exfoliation, then it's time to restore. So mm -hmm. you took off everything, now you restore. And um, people use serums, but I use. Ta da! My masks. Ah. So these are what I call my ABCD masks. Mm -hmm. I have anti aging, brightening, calming, and deep hydration. Mm -hmm. And I use them in rotation depending on what's going on in my skin cycle. Mm -hmm. And so people who subscribe to us, we they get all four. Mm -hmm. And so the idea is to use um, minimum like once a week, and some people use it every other day. I use it like maybe four times a week. I used it last night for this interview. <laughs> Um. I use the anti-aging one for my interview. <laughs> ah. So mm -hmm. in the step where you put the serum on is where you put the mask on. Got it. Yeah. And then to seal in the serum that you lost, people don't understand that you have to do this. But I think a lot of people put on a sheet mask and they think they're done. But to seal in a the serums, you have to use a moisturizer. Right. I just happen to have this sample, so I, I'm using this um, Hydra Beauty from Chanel. Mm -hmm. But 
um, it doesn't have to be like an expensive mm-hmm. moisturizer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The idea, if you used actually a really good serum or like mm-hmm. a mask, mm-hmm. then you can actually use a cheaper moisturizer. Because oh. the idea of using a moisturizer mm-hmm. is to really um, be that like seal. Right. So it doesn't have to be an expensive one, but you have to use one. If you're investing anything, I would say like, you know, out of all this entire step, mm-hmm. these entire steps, I would invest the most in the serums. Got it, got the it. The masks mm-hmm, area. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then after my moisturizer, I have eye cream. Again, this is a travel size. Mm-hmm. To be honest with you, I don't really wear eye cream. Oh, so you just use this as a cream? No, I, I, just, I just have the sample, so I use it because I have it. Oh. But generally, <laughs> but generally, I don't use eye cream. And then, you know, um, you're actually supposed to use this during the day, but I actually use it at night too. Mm-hmm. It's Dr. Shermex Blemish Balm. Okay, so you know what BB creams are, right? Ah. This okay. is the original BB cream. Even before BB creams were ever existent, mm-hmm. this was the first OG BB cream back in the 90s. Wow. Right? This is from Germ- Germany. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So, this is the, so people who are estheticians and people who are into mm-hmm. products will understand what this is, will know what this is. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's like too expensive. It was like 60 bucks or like, a, like a little, for a little piece like this. this. Yeah. But I really recommend this if you have like a pimple, let's say, that just got like, that just got popped Ouch. or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then you want to remove that blemish. Mm-hmm. Not just a concealer. It actually heals the blemish. Wow. That's who, so you see, let's say, for example, this little, little uh-huh, spot uh-huh. on my, you just put it on. And do you want wow. to feel it here? And you can smell it too. Yeah, I and notice just, this. Fragrance. Yeah, there's a fragrance to it. Wow, it smells like lemony it, it's, flower. It's got this like minerally smell to mm-hmm. it. So you see how it does give you coverage? Yeah, it, it just does. covered up my vein, right? Yeah. So it does give you coverage. So the idea was people used it actually in their entire face, but I didn't because it was way too expensive. Uh-huh. But I would put it right over my blemishes, and I told you my... My first goal right now, skincare goal, is uh, blackheads, but right. my second goal is blemishes. Is blemishes. Right. So I'll put it right over it because it actually heals it. But this is something I can't. Where do you? Where'd you buy it? I, I think Amazon. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Do they not sell this in Korea? Um, you know what? I don't know. Oh. Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't know if they sell it in Korea or not. But you know, like anybody who's an esthetician will probably know. And then what else do I have in here? And of course. Sunscreen. I have, yeah, a sunscreen. This is a must. Yes, a must every day. But I really like this one because, first of all, I got it on sale. <laughs> <laughs> Second of all, it's a mineral. It's a non-chemical uh, okay. mineral one. Mm-hmm. I'm, I like, I prefer mineral suns, uh, sunscreen mm-hmm. over chemical ones. Mm-hmm. I personally think it works better. Yeah. Um, and then you see how it has four pluses. Mm-hmm. That's UVA as well as UVB, mm-hmm. so that's really important to me too. Mm-hmm. And so I really like the fact that this one is mineral. Oh, and this is a tone-up one. Ah, so yeah. it has a bit of pigment. Yeah, a little pigmentation to it. Mm-hmm. So when I don't like putting makeup on, which is like 99% mm-hmm. of my everyday, then I just put on this mm-hmm. in the morning and I'm done. It kind of has a beige color to it. Yeah, huh? it's a tone-up cream. You can see that it's a tone-up cream. See? Mm, it seems very watery. Yeah, and you, you know what? That's why I like Korean um, sunscreen over like US Western ones, ones mm-hmm. any day because it's so light. It's like a moisturizer, and it gives you a little bit of sheen and a tone up thing too. But it dries throughout Pretty the day, quickly. right? Yeah, yeah. Feel it. Ooh, super hydrating. Yep. And then, yeah. Actually, I brought this. I don't know if you guys use this. But I put it on every single day. And again, like Lash. this goes to tell you that like skincare is about consistency and putting on it every single day and then waiting patiently for the results because this helps you grow your eyelashes. Wow. I got it in the US. What the brand is it? Rapid Lash. Minimum 30 days. Minimum. Mm. And you can't even say like, oh, you know, I tried it. No, try it for 30 days <laughs> and then call me. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Sure. So it's very clear. Ah, it's like that. It's a you brush. Just, it's a brush. You just put it on right over your lash line, your lash line. Ah, and like it doesn't that. burn or sting your no, eye. Okay. Because I know some people they have that kind of issue when they use these kinds of products. Like um, for burns. glue, yes. For mm-hmm. these, no. Okay. Now, we, we talked about this, but this yeah. way overused Kiehl's lip balm. You said you used twenty bottles. Yeah, I mean I use so many. I actually like the cranberry because I don't know if you know this, but cranberry. Mm-hmm. Did you know that it's sweeter when you kiss your lips? Oh really? Yes, that's what cranberry does. Okay. Oh yeah, I love this product. Yes. So we this, love this is something I use every summer because I actually it's called Badger Balm. 
Um, it's a company called Badger. Basically, it's an anti-bug bomb, which is it prevents mosquitoes and bugs from biting you. And since I can't put on the off spray because it's like too, it's too harsh, mm -hmm. I'll put on this, like, it's well used, as you'll see. I'll put on this yeah, bomb, wow. like that. Mm -hmm. and, and you it's can smell it so, from yeah, here, right? It's, it's a nice, pleasant lemon herbal yeah. smell. Wow. It's a smell that mosquitoes... It's actually strong. <laughs> really, yeah, it's very strong. Ooh. The mosquitoes hate the smell, mm -hmm. and actually some people hate the smell too, but yeah. I love it. I like See? it. It's refreshing. It says, bad for the bug, good for the skin. Yay! And that's it. Yay! This is everything that Sophia carries in the travel link skincare bag. So my name is Sophia Hong. I'm from New York, um, but now I'm living in the land of K-beauty. And I am a founder of a sheet mask company called MaskMoments.com. Ever since I lived in Korea, mm -hmm. uh, you know this too, like Koreans have amazing skin and I wanted to know what the secret was. Mm -hmm. And every time I go back to the United States, people would ask me like, oh, what do you use for your skin? And so I was always interested in skincare. I really believed in the model of a subscription. Uh, only because it really helps you stick to a routine right. and stay consistent and I'm right. really a big believer in that and so I decided to launch one myself. So can you actually show us? Yeah! I think you show, yeah. So the idea is that throughout your skin cycle you use what's necessary for your skin goal. And they're all biocellulose so... Yes, they're, they're all floral. coconut gel sheets so they're not like the regular paper sheets but they are um, made of coconut gel and the idea is that once it sits, it helps you absorb all the ingredients and it becomes thinner as your skin absorbs. Yeah, so no here. dripping, no messiness. No dripping, no messiness. So I'm gonna ask this on behalf of all the people who are watching. Sure, Are sure. there any other sheet masks that you reference and think are also worthy of people's money and time? Yeah, so I'm glad you asked this question because we tested like over a thousand masks. You must I, have used so many. I've used thousands and thousands. Actually, I brought some. I don't want to call any other brands out, but mm. so these are what we studied to study the. So the, I studied two things. I study the actual sheets uh -huh. to reference, uh, oh, to compare, serum. and then I compare the the serums. Mm -hmm. Some of the ones that I really liked were like Tatcha. Uh, there's one, Tatcha has many many masks, but there's a lifting mask that they have. It's it's like twenty five dollars a mask. Wow. It's super expensive, but it's really great and it, it lifts. And so uh, we wanted that same technology for ours, but actually for direct-to-consumer prices. So we referenced Tatcha a lot, and mm -hmm. then we also referenced um, Star Skin. It's called Star Skin Second Skin, and it's biocellulose. So um, the reason that biocellulose is called Second Skin is you've used it before. It like oh, sticks like Second Skin. And it's so thin. Yeah, and it's really thin. Mm -hmm. And so um, actually, we have the same factory. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then for the like um, serum. I brought this one. Ah. People might not know it, but this one is um, a plant stem cell mask. But I like this one a lot for the formulation because it's stem cell. What was interesting was that you told me that most CEOs of these beauty brands that we commonly know are all male. Yes. So can you talk a bit more about that? Yes, and this is more true in Korea than America. Uh, I would say over 90%. I want to say over 95%. Um, are all male CEOs in wow. cosmetics wow. Um, and the reason is there's a history right? right because now there's a lot of e-commerce and direct-to-consumer products like us and indie brands and a lot of now like influencers or a lot of like really um, like makeup artists are creating their own brands but before it was very manufacturer driven mm -hmm. and so the whole ecosystem was about manufacturing distribution vendors right. retail and so it was all run by males it's so really price driven that's why Mm, I don't know if it's because I'm a woman necessarily per se. So as an entrepreneur, um, before I got into entrepreneurship, I was a corporate person. So I'm used to having salary, right? And this is just like really frank, honest point of view. Once you become an entrepreneur, like you're on your own. There's yeah. no guarantee of success. So it's the ability of having to tolerate that risk and it's having that patience as an entrepreneur because you know I'm gonna be probably poor for a while until they stop you know but you have to like ride that out and it's like I think it's a grown skill actually to be able to tolerate that kind of risk 
Uh, actually, this is the reason that I'm an entrepreneur, and I love it. Um, it. The reason is that, and I'm motivated to be an entrepreneur every day because of this, and it's because I can create my own culture. Um, I can create my own culture of work. Like, you love your work, and right. you know you live it, right? right? And I want that balance to be able to mm -hmm. like transfer over to our work, too. Remember why you started. Ah, like you have to, why. Yeah, you have to constantly remind yourself, like, oh, I started because I want to change the culture. That's another advice that I have, I think, would be, um, you know, and I think you'd appreciate, appreciate this, it's self-care. You know, mm -hmm. and then like I said earlier, I think the third one would be um, community. Like you need to surround yourself with good friends uh, for moral support, um, mentors. Uh, you need to like, especially for if you're running a business, uh, people who are experienced in areas that you're not. Okay, guys, uh, I just finished the amazing talk that I had with Sophia right here. I think it's so eye-opening, and I think it's so important for all of us to watch it. So I will upload the full version on my IG. TV. I'll put the link down below. But yeah, thanks for hanging out today. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>